<laughs> Good afternoon. I'd like to call to order the meeting of the West Bend Community Memorial Library Board for Tuesday, October 15th. May we stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, library board, uh, I'd like to call for a consent agenda for the library board meeting minutes from last month and also the library expenditures. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. I do have uh, one or two questions. Let me just pull this up. I'm sorry I didn't have it ready. I'm, just, well, I'm following Steve. I don't have things ready. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> um, I had one qu question. I have two questions, actually, and they're both for Steve. I don't know. Um, Steve, what is library ideas that we paid $1,102.28? Processing materials, I believe. Processing materials? Yeah. Okay. okay. And... Um, WLA, we had two payments. What were those for? Membership? Membership and the conference? Conference, yes. Okay. All right. Um, does anyone else have any questions for Steve regarding the uh, vouchers or do we have any questions on the meeting minutes? If not, we have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Finances. Joseph. Um, Jay, you don't have a copy. But it did get ma emailed out shortly oh, it did before get the emailed? meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, then he might have it. I have an email. Okay, yep. great. Um, yep. Joseph, you want to So there is out? a $250 donation oh, from the <laughs> West Bend Optimist Club. Uh, we had three cents of interest in the elite checking account mm -hmm. and then seventy four dollars and seventy two cents of interest in the money market account and then there were three checks that went out uh, one to Ann Klaus for adult programming supplies one to Noah Reiner Productions for a program and Susan Steinhoffel got reimbursed for some garden supplies um, Steve, we're all set now with all of the money we should have gotten from the county for this year, correct? I believe so. Okay, from the city. So we're in good shape with that. Um, okay. Any questions for Joseph on the finances? Um, oh, that'll be when I talk, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh, I have a question. <laughs> uh, library director's report. Alrighty. Um, I did send out the staff reports, but I have something fun before that. Um, we're having Annie Jones, the professor of organization development and tribal nation specialist, come speak on November 6th at 6.30. And Nancy has four more seats available for dinner with Angie Jones, or Annie Jones, I'm sorry. Annie Jones. Sorry, Annie. <laughs> um, so they're going to have dinner with her. There's a couple people that from the staff that are going to go. Um, there's a member of the friends that are invited. But uh, There's four more seats. She's going to try to keep the cost of 20 bucks a person. But okay. If you're it, interested. Where is it? Here? We're going to do it here, yeah. Bring food in. If you're interested, let me know or let uh, Nancy? Nancy know. By um, what time? Mm. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Okay, we got about two weeks, three, two and a half weeks. Yeah. Okay. As soon as possible. Yeah. Can you email that file to us? I can. Thank you. But I'm not going to do it right now. You don't expect it. Tomorrow's fine. Your director's report. Um. Well, beyond what uh, the staff report said, Brad and I are working on some statistical stuff. 
and I'm working on collection development. Um, with what we're doing is we're looking at the entire county collection for Washington County to start to see what things are missing from our collection that are high circulating items. So I think I gave Darcy a couple hundred items to pick up at the end of the year here. Um, but we'll also be looking at, you know, what is stagnant everywhere and then I'll give a more refined report next time. Um, one of the problems with exporting from our, our ILS is it, it doesn't, we have numbers and letters all jumbled up in our, in our um, call numbers so I can't really um, cleanly move all that. I've got about 4,000 items to look at yet um, to, to tidy up. But um, most of it did come over all right. Um, it looks like uh, we have a, a relatively old collection, an average age of uh, 12 years to, well, in the, two, in the 400s to 500s, the average age is 17 years old. Um, and the average circ per year for all items is about three, two or three, depending on the area. Uh, we circ more in the 600s to 700s, which is where the cookbooks are, <laughs> and uh, lifestyle kind of things. So um, quilting books, I think, are in the 600s. Yes, I think they are. Um, but this is a bit more refined as we go along. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what comes of it. We do have a volunteer who's, who volunteered to work on this, and I sent out um, questions to the other directors so that we can look at this as a Washington County. And then we'll compare ourselves to other places um, later. But it looks like we're all in the same boat in Washington County. Much similar, similar collections, similar circulation and age of collections. So, so we have a volunteer. Yep. And when are we looking at to try and have this completed one? Hmm. Complete. We'll never finish because we're always going to be looking. I I kind of figured it out, but maybe you know. Oh. <laughs> um. Come on in. Do you know why this is upside down? Well, I was blaming you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Um, I would imagine we'll have the um, basic analysis stuff done by the end of the year, and then. My only reason for asking is, this probably could have been. I wonder if we could have set this up as a project to work with one of the schools so they could get credit. Yeah. A little late now, but I think it would have been a good... We do have, allegedly we have a, a student coming yet to work with, work with us for 80 hours, um, but I haven't heard from that person for a while. We did have a different one scheduled to come in and work with us, and she decided it was easier to do the work where she was at. So, um, didn't want to make the, the journey to our library once a week. <laughs> Um, we can send it to uh, the schools once we have all the all the cleanup done. We could send it to the schools for other analysis and figure yeah, out what else is going true. on. Another thing, I don't know. We don't really have any libraries around here that special libraries, <coughs> universities that specialize in libraries. No. No. Um, and this is so far only the the nonfiction collection we're dealing with, the adult nonfiction. Okay. Um, I think what we're doing is probably the best okay. uh, method. I, I, I like to have a little bit of control. <laughs> yeah. <a> statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all I really want to add. Let me just double check my file here. We're getting the park all set for winter. Yep. The, I'm waiting for a warm, non-breezy day to take the, the canopy off. And um, then we'll be good to go. Probably this weekend looks like it might be the time. Might be. When, when do we anticipate closing the park? We are going to close. We aren't. No. Good for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay, we'll see People those guys need... out there with their parkas playing chess. Yeah. Awesome, <laughs> that snowstorm. <laughs> Why not? And hopefully they'll shovel the sidewalk while they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a shovel out there for them. Okay. All right. Tell Jay to bring the shovel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, did you want to go over the staff reports, or do you want us to just have you have questions or anything? If you have questions, I guess, and you can send those to me anytime. Oh, yeah. I, um, well, I know, Barb, you had said you wanted to thank the adults program. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to bring what I, what I made, but I did have a picture of it. I don't know if you're interested in seeing it, but I did one of the little shelves on Saturday that she had. Oh, she yeah. had all these supplies, and you could tell that she put a lot of time into it. She made these little tiny books that you could that? glue on the shelves. So she had all yeah. the bark and the sticks and so on, and glue guns all over the place, and that everything awesome. was set up beautifully on plates we got here. And That's nice. I'm like, yeah. And a, a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a while was there, and she said she comes really often and loves it too. So keep. she said to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah, that was very good. So send Terika our thanks. Yep, we'll, we'll do that. Terika's used services, but she also does adult programming, right? She's, uh, She's creative. She oversees the person artist. that does the adult crafts, yes. Yeah, um, I see Nancy has someone now. She hired somebody. Uh, Nancy is working with John and... Um, no, um, I'm excited to say that we hired a new staff member. Annie Beringer. Oh, yes. Um, Annie, is she like, what is her role going She's to be? She's doing outreach and adult services. Uh, along with so kind of picking up some of the stuff Nancy yeah. had been doing and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Because yeah, we did have a um, outreach opportunity, I think, and that's why we, we brought her in. It's hard to remember. The people have come and gone sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what that what Annie's focus is. Okay. So what is what is a teaching kitchen and where will it be going? If we get a teaching kitchen, it's a kitchen on wheels that will be rolled out when we do a program and then put away when it's not being used. Um, and that is, I think, what uh, one of the things Nancy wants to spend her. Uh, grant money on it. Grant, yeah. So it'll be it'll be like a hot plate on it, maybe a microwave or a sink, um, and then it'll be like a contained sink, like you would have in a camper, essentially. Kind of like you see at the state fair when the demonstrators are doing sure. their stuff. Okay. Exactly. The okay. Cart. Except theirs probably costs a lot more than what we'll ever <laughs> get. So. Cool. And then it's just like a cooking class. Yep. Yeah, because we're going to be doing cooking with, well, we'll be doing cooking here for our program and then also with the, um, the hub in the new year on the programs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to be quiet about all the programs. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, I guess, because I know you're going to ask this question at some point. Um, <laughs> we are planning to do a 25th anniversary, birthday celebration for the library next year in January as we release the programs to the public. So, because it'll be 25 years here. Okay. Um, what I was going to say about the cooking cart, one of the things, and I don't know if the library would have time to do that, but we've got a couple businesses up here that m manufacture, you know, Regal. Yeah. And there's another one that manufactures I, uh, Americraft. Is that what it is, Americraft? Up, I think we would be by the armory. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. You know, it, they might be something to tap into that. All right, Tom, Americraft, um, that was not on my list. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I think if we can sometimes engage some of these companies. Because they're, they're in West Bend. Yes. Right. Regal is Kewaska. Kewaska. But, yeah. Yeah. I, um, Regal's been very generous with donating fans and such for raffle prizes or just about anything. There's a fundraiser and it's really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, it, maybe we'll do some kind of fundraiser thing as well. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, you know. They do the same thing, pots and pans and aircraft. Mm -hmm. 
But see, you know, she's got that grant, but if when the money is used up, maybe one of these companies would we'll support pick something. Pick it up, like, yeah. You know, there's Oops, always hopefully. things to think about there. The other thing I was going to say, there's two things. Darcy and Julie, I think, are working on a library of things, which would include, um, it says, Instapots, canning material, all kinds of things, telescopes. Yep. Does that, that kind of rolls into the plan you had had at one point, maybe with tools, tools and things yeah. like that. When they are developing what they're looking for, if they could send it out to the board, because... I'm in the process of trying to downsize. Yeah. I have lots. Of, <laughs> I have lots of stuff. Yeah. That if there's something that's on their list, you know. Yeah. I, and, and and yeah, there that definitely is something to consider. Like even knitting needles or something. Or something I have that a working V8 yeah. tape tape player. Sure. <laughs> I mean, nobody has those. And I, I have mean, tapes. Well, they also <laughs> said, Steve, we don't want all your. Right. Junk that you have in your office. <laughs> <laughs> I've been downsizing as well. So, just, just um, yeah. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of uh, electronics down here. We, got, we don't use it anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we need to do is probably make take whatever electronics people have and turn them into ghost hunting apparatus of some sort. <laughs> yes. And then check those out. Well, but you know, like pots and pans. Yeah. Cake, cake. You got some cake things. Yep. I and things like that. So. If we could just see what they are. Yeah. I I de definitely, um, once they have a plan, we'll put it out there for Great. everybody and see what, the, okay. see what we can get. The other thing, then, is for the teachers and educational people. I don't know if you caught that in there. Julie had asked that um, she'd like to promote the teacher cards and services. So if you could help her with any contact information to spread the word among teachers, you know. I'm sure you've probably already been doing some of that. I have at my building, I yes. Have, yeah. So I don't, I'm not sure what the follow through is on that yet, but. Okay. Yep. Okay. I great. would be happy to um, great. pass it on to, if, if she sends me whatever, then I can pass it on to the other schools too. Sure, I'll make sure that she gets that information okay. to you. Yep. Just making all this work for you guys. That's okay. <laughs> Anything else for Steve or any other questions? No. Okay. Library board president's report. I do have um, one question that uh, last month we voted on transferring the money for the PTO policy program. Would you let us know or find out when they actually are going to be doing that? Is it going to be this year they're going to do that transfer, or is it going to be in the early part of January mm. or next year? Yeah, I'll find out about that. Okay. okay. Um, I think that's it. So we will move on to the next agenda item, which is one of our favorite subjects. Budget. <laughs> Budgets. 2025 budget. We'll do budget first and then CPI. Um, sure. <coughs> so, and I just realized I don't think I have the current close dates to hand out to everybody. I didn't send that to you, did I? The current what? The close, close dates? dates? No. No. Oh, I'll have to run them Oh, back. that's right. We have that on there. Well, we'll just have to move that to next month. All right. Um, <laughs> so, the, the new budget, what happened is they, um, the only changes they made were to add to interest income. We had... No changes in on that page. Um, we had put down thirty thousand, and they bumped it up to fifty thousand. And then the only and, and then there's there's two other things. They took a thousand out of contractual for computers because we don't contract with anyone. That was kind of a, an account where we would get extra <coughs> cables or adapters or whatever. And when he said, what's contractual, and I was like, well, I don't want to tell him. So, <laughs> so we can just get rid of that $1,000. You're like, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else pretty much stayed the same. They added their half of the capital into the costs for next year and then added the capital that we would be getting from the county into the revenues um, so that that 
So it looked like we're getting money from the revenue Sorry, from the county capital, yeah. and that will be money that will be used to pay or the 50% of the capital. Yeah. Okay. We do have funding for two half people. Yep, that stayed the same. Okay. So nothing yeah. else changed in that. So we're going to have two half people, and we are going to be probably taking back some of the notary. What is that? That was not that brought stand? up <laughs> as an issue. Um, the one issue that, the one trade off that we're going to try to do, it's not a commitment, but we're going to try to add the extra hour on Saturday. Um, okay. And if we can, with the two new people, with the extra hour on Saturday, and if it seems reasonable, we can set some parameters potentially and do the notary as well. But I would think that extra hour is going to be plenty. Yeah. You know, because that'll be we close at two, mean we close at two. Yeah. I think people will be happy for that. I know I will be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the deal we made. Um, okay. And, and uh, I think it'd be good to stay open until two if there's any way we can make that work. So I'm still haven't gotten the, I the schedules from the... your first year, you even talked about trying to get Sundays. I Remember think that? Sundays would be great. But be great. Mm -hmm. It would be My great. My staff would hate me for it. No, I know they would. You need more. Coverage. I know. Um, but yeah. I just use notary services, and I got right in and out. There was obviously, and I've been there a couple of times over at City Hall to get something notarized, and I haven't had any issues. So I don't know if they're really saying they're overrun. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it comes in streaks for them, just like. It, did for us and again, probably. I think when that first came up, they did have a new a new clerk started, yeah. and, oh. and you know it yeah. might have been just a learning process and, and stuff. Yeah, it is nice that we provide a service if we can, but the, again, it's one of those things is I don't want to add that to yeah. mm -hmm. our already overstretched staff um, yep. since we do a lot of business here. Yeah, absolutely. And do we have a notary on staff though? Not currently. So we'd have to get somebody trained. I, my only reason is have somebody on staff just for us, you know, for our sure. type of use. I think that would be yeah. beneficial. That's we, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, um, one of the people that would be willing to do it would be our business manager who's here in the morning. Um, that doesn't help everybody, but mm -hmm. she, she's one that we were talking about training for this. Um, she usually can make anything happen that we ask her to do, so. Um, it's one of those things, you know, she, it's a service we'd have to pay, you know, you pay for an annual yeah. fee probably to be a notary, we could do that. It's a couple bucks, it's not a whole yeah. lot. So, well, I think it's definitely worth looking at in the new year. Okay, now, I guess I would like to go over the capital budget a little bit. Um, because I'm looking at, this is your five-year plan. I'm, I have some questions. Um, okay. First of all, it, it's a good plan the way it's laid out. It's not a real strategic plan. It's just a layout, right? Yeah, well, the, the, what we could get in for 2025 is the most important thing. And right. um, so we, um, when, when pushed, I said I'd, I'd like to get the slate taken care of uh, as a priority and that means a little bit less for the blind replacement um, and then the security uh, modifications is adding cameras and the fobs um, fifty thousand dollars is not enough to do everything that we need to do there so in the future we'll probably have to add more cameras it'll probably cost more money we don't know what the fobs will be until the end of the well, a couple weeks maybe. We'll get a quote on that. Um, <laughs> the so we we did put the nursing pot in for this year, and then I was asked to put it in for 2026. Um, so that's a thirty thousand dollar. And and that's one that I do have uh, questions on because yeah. it's thirty thousand capital, but what are the ant, um, weekly, daily? maintenance fees that would be associated with that because there's going to have to be cleaning and sanitizing and things like that. So, yep. It so would just be like everything else in the library though that we have cleaned after 
or twice a day? Mm, I'm not sure that would be. It depends on use. Yeah, it does it depend, does depend on, on use. Yeah, and, yeah. and that. Um, okay, well, since it's 20, we can, we can check on that. I'd like to maybe have you. I, I think for 2025, this looks great because if we yeah. take 50, the, what the county is giving us in capital, um, that's half of this. So yep. the city will pay half and we will pay half. We'll use our county capital for the security, the slate removal, and uh, window blind replacements. Yep. Um, so I think that would be good. But I think for the 26 and maybe out for four years, if you could put together like a couple page documents on, on the things, you know, like we, I understand yeah. the uh, roof, the HVAC, parking lot resurfacing. One of the things Steve had mentioned, and I, I thought that might be a good idea, is the city would do the resurfacing if we would pay for the asphalt. asphalt. And I want the board to think about that. I think that would be a very valid use for this coming year to take that money out of our fund balance, one of the fund balances, because that is really getting, I don't know if you've gone it out is. there. It's, it, right, and uh. it, it's a reflection on the library. And I think we have funds <clears throat> sitting out there. I think that would be a good use. That's my opinion. What does anybody else? For 2025? 20, yeah. This year? Yeah. 20, 25. Next, it'd, be, not, not it'd be done this, well, it would be next year is 2025. Okay, yeah, for next year, because I mean you can't get it done this year. No, I meant 20, okay, 2025. Yeah. That's what yeah. I said. Okay. Yeah. So we could, if we would take money out of our fund balance, it would be dependent, of course, on when the city would have time to do that, because we mm -hmm. don't have to go out for bids if we take right. the money and we've got the city. But we could at least... You could start talking to Doug's group yeah. and finding out when they what the would cost have some would be. time. Yeah. And since you had said uh, they had, they were agreeable to that. The city was yeah. agreeable to that. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, with more and more activity happening in that parking lot, you know, for like the youth um, inventors fair. What do you call it? Youth, the fair, youth fair market. Yeah, market. fair market. Um, and there's. A, well, they were using it for the music on Main and all that other stuff. People are <laughs> kind of parking over there. I heard some comments, actually, when I went over that last time. They're like, oh, be careful. There's like a big thing there. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it and is and pretty rocky back there. And the staff, that's what the staff uses yeah, there. Right. And, and yeah. stuff. Right. So I, um, you had stated what your uh, dollar amount was both for probably for the full parking lot, concrete repairs. Do you yeah, I, I was a guess because nobody could give me a quote because they wouldn't do that in a guess. Okay. Everyone well, I call could it. you I'll give you some more work? You, you're, done with, you're done with budgets now, so yeah. you, you got time. <laughs> put it on my list. Um, you, you, got time. <laughs> you could just take a look at what it would cost yep. and maybe we can put it on next month's mm -hmm. agenda to possibly discuss moving some of the funds. Yeah. Can you do that? Remember, I had always been asking for a cover for those garbage, so we don't see the garbage cans. So you want, you want, you want, you want right. yeah, the closure. A little closure. Yeah, we remember do. Remember that. Yes, I do <laughs> remember that. Yes, just to make it kind of look nicer. Okay. Well, we'll think on that. That okay. could be yeah. an Eagle Scout project. It could be, yeah. But it also has to be functional for the garbage truck. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think well, we, we just have to pull them out for that because yeah. they've got those arms that come yeah. across. We have to line those up at arms. Okay. Well, don't they pull in now? Don't I don't know how they get your garbage. Don't they pull in and get the garbage cans? You know, garbage cans are along this way, right? They're along the thing. When the garbage truck comes, do you move them out for the garbage truck? You yeah, move them from from the back corner here. Oh, to the street. Oh, to the side there. Uh, okay. Oh, that's what everybody does. So that wouldn't be a, that, how can I say that? Then that isn't an issue if we would have a yeah. wall. You know, I wasn't sure, if, but yeah. since you move them out anyways. Are you thinking of one also for the recycling portion too? Make it look nice, Brad. Right. 
Well, well, then it just would be a situation where then they would have to present open and corral, so to speak, because that, they would sit inside of that bin. Do we see the recyclable bin, or is that? I never see it. I just look right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's there. Um, I, I haven't really paid attention to the recycling bin, but I've noticed the garbage can, so maybe it's there. Oh, I lost internet. You did too. Well, the dog park has one. That's enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do that with mine too. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. Um, we can move on. Since we don't have the closure dates, we will have to move that to next, next month. month. Okay. And we're, we've got time for that. I don't think there's anything. I'm not really sure what the holidays look like next year. How they fall. Fred hasn't memorized. I question for you is are you gonna make any sort of motion on any of this stuff for the bid and the, for the budget and the SIP? Well we we approved the budget. We probably should reapprove because of the changes. So thank you for catching that. You're my sergeant of arms. You keep us on track. It's pretty alright. Yes. Um so basically we approved the budget last month. We would just need to reapprove the fact that a thousand dollars was taken out of the one fund, and what was the other um, one? Interest. interest. Interest was upped. Yeah. Not sure interest is going to be going up all the way, <laughs> but but we'll be okay. <laughs> That's what they told us to do. And yeah, they're talking about another rate in yeah. decrease. So may I have a motion to approve the changes to the two thousand? Uh, 2025 budget, uh, the changes that were proposed by the city, the thousand dollars in interest. I'll make a motion. Joseph, do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. We've had our discussion. Unfortunately, we weren't in the right <laughs> sergeant of arms type thing, but we won't tell Robert. Okay, don't tell <laughs> Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. We have a motion and a second to approve the budget. That will be going to the Common Council for approval next week, I think, yeah, or in a couple weeks. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thanks, Brad, <clears throat> keeping us honest. All right. Our next regular meeting will be November 19th. Is that the week? That's no, no Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is really late. Nice. Yeah, it late. is. So, I think it's as late as possible. Okay, so our next meeting will be on the 28th of November. No, and, 8, no. 19th. 19th. No, that's Thanksgiving. Okay. You're right, the 19th. first time. 19th. I am. <laughs> jumping the gun. She's hungry. <laughs> um, do we have any assigned tests? I, think I wrote them yes. down. Right? I got plenty of them. I, well, I, wrote <laughs> I forget her name, but Steve is going to get the teacher card. Services yep. information to Jesse. Uh, Steve, find out when the PTO funds transfer. Yep. Yep. And the other one has look into cost for the parking lot resurfacing. Yep. Yep. And is there any other one I missed? No, we talked about a couple of sheet paper for, but oh, we can put that on as an <laughs> assignment for next year. That's fine. <laughs> He's going to have fun. In the goals for the evaluation? There you go. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, all right, with that, we are adjourned. It is 5 15.